Tesla versus big oil. What will the future hold and who has a brighter future? I'm Jonathan Stewart and welcome to Cleaner Watt. Tesla's mission is to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. However, Tesla is up against a very large foe. The oil industry globally did around $3.3 trillion of revenue in 2019. Success in Tesla's mission equals the end of big oil's reign, and this transition has already started. Before we dive into today's video content, I want to say a special thanks to my newest Patreon supporter, Bradford Ferguson of Halter Ferguson Financial, and also the other Patreon supporters listed here. It's support on Patreon from these people that help me create this content and bring it to you. I'll put a link in the description if you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community that I've set up. Just a couple days ago, Bloomberg put out this article entitled, Is Big Oil Still a Big Deal? In the headline, it said, quote, Exxon's departure from the Dow is just one symptom. The oil major's opportunities and reputations are in decline everywhere. This article goes on to talk about how Exxon was removed from the Dow Jones Industrial Average, and it says at the very end, quote, It's not the end of big oil, but it may signal the start of the beginning of the end. The future of big oil is not looking very bright, whereas the future of Tesla and clean energy in general is looking very bright. There are a lot more opportunities for clean energy and for electric vehicles than there are for other sectors like big oil. One really good illustration of just what the market thinks about big oil versus Tesla is to look at the market caps of the five biggest oil companies in the United States versus the market cap of Tesla. In 2010, shortly after Tesla's IPO, they were valued with a market cap somewhere just under $2 billion. When you compare this to the oil giants like ExxonMobil, Chevron, and ConocoPhillips, you can see just how small that market cap was in comparison in 2010. Even in 2015, Tesla's market cap was only a fraction of some of these large oil companies like Exxon. However, if you fast forward to 2020 and you see how Tesla's market cap stacks up against these same big five oil companies, you can see that Tesla's market cap is actually more than all of these five companies combined. Keep in mind too that this is before Battery Day, which happens September 22nd in really just a few weeks. What will Tesla's market cap look like after Battery Day when we learn a lot about Tesla's future roadmap? Now, when comparing these companies, it's important not only to talk about the market cap because that's what the market believes the company will be worth in the future, but I believe it's also important to compare revenues between these companies. Here in this chart, you can see the historic annual revenue amounts for each of these companies in 2010, 2015, and 2019. As you can see, even though, as we mentioned, Tesla's market cap here in 2020 is bigger than all five of these oil companies combined, when you look at the 2019 revenue amounts for each of these companies, Tesla as a company only made up about 10% of ExxonMobil's revenue in 2019. So why does the market believe that Tesla is worth more than the top five oil companies in the United States when their revenues do not even get close to matching these numbers? Tesla's market cap valuation versus big oil's market cap valuation is really just talking about the future expectations of each of these companies. The market has valued Tesla more than these five big oil companies because EVs are the future, clean energy is the future, and Tesla is the leader and the one who is most poised to dominate this sector. Now I know what you might be saying, Tesla is not the only electric vehicle manufacturer. There are other big companies out there. However, Tesla did popularize the electric vehicle. And in my opinion, because of Tesla, that is why we see all these other electric vehicles on the market. Tesla has proven that there is a large market and a large desire for electric vehicles, and other companies are now manufacturing cars to fill some of that need. I truly believe that many of these EVs would not exist if it were not for Tesla. 
Big Auto would have continued to make internal combustion engine vehicles for as long as they could have. However, although Tesla started all this, and in many ways they are the leader, the truth is Tesla cannot do this alone. Tesla needs help, and for Tesla's mission to succeed, overtaking big oil, diminishing the use of petroleum products, and also transitioning the world to sustainable energy, there must be other companies that come up. Earlier this year, we were given a taste of the future when oil demand is going to be low. Articles like the CNBC article and others like it pointed out that on April 20th of this year, 2020, the price of West Texas oil intermediate crude dropped to a negative $37 a barrel. Companies like West Texas Intermediate Crude were actually paying people to take oil from them because there was such a surplus. Of course, there was a huge demand drop because of everything crazy going on in the world. However, this is really just a taste of what the future might look like when the demand for oil drops very low. As we mentioned, and also as the market cap valuation suggests, the future of Tesla and clean energy in general is very bright, and the future of big oil is not very bright. But to get to this expected future where big oil demand is very low, we still have a lot of work to do. Out of the 77.5 million vehicles sold in the full year 2020 globally, only around 2.5% of those vehicles were either full electric vehicles or plug-in hybrid electric vehicles. However, this current decade that we're in right now, 2020 through 2029, I believe we'll see a huge amount of electric vehicles being sold. And I predict that by the end of this decade, electric vehicles make up the majority of these numbers. Tesla will also soon address the commercial trucking industry when their semi actually starts to ship in the very near future. Also on top of all that, Tesla's power pack and mega pack battery storage solutions are being used by utility companies to replace the need for peaker power plants. These gas powered peaker plants often come on when there's a high demand on the grid and they burn a lot of fossil fuels. They also pollute a lot, but they consume a lot of these fossil fuels. So every time we can replace these with a power pack or a mega pack or some kind of solution from either Tesla or someone else that diminishes our use of oil and petroleum. So in conclusion, in the end, clean energy and clean transportation in the not too distant future wins. We are about to reach a huge inflection point, which I'll talk about a lot more in the upcoming video this week where I'm going to discuss Tesla's battery day and the importance of that day. But I believe we're about to get to a point where the global cost of an electric vehicle will reach parity with an internal combustion engine vehicle. The clean energy sector has already in many ways reached this point where it's very economically viable and I believe that electric vehicles are just about to do that as well. In the future, big oil will not be so big, but companies like Tesla and other clean energy companies will be. Tesla is winning. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Also, if you did like this video, please consider clicking the like button because that helps other people find the video as well. Thank you so much.